Hi y'all, it's Joanne. Welcome back. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Last week I was on making some journal cards with what I was calling just a basic little formula, just trying to keep things simple. Sometimes a lot of the things we make are more complex and more steps and just more everything, I guess. And, and that's great. That's fun to do things that are you know, a little more complex, fancy, whatever you want to call it. But sometimes it's nice just to kind of be basic, make things a little easier. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's what I did with those journal cards. So I thought I'd come back on today and do something similar. And this time I'm doing um, book page belly bands. I was, did a project using lace last week, and this was one of them. I made a belly bin, and I thought that came out real cute. And I thought, well, why not make some more book page belly bands? Thought those would be cute in our journals. So like I said, I want to keep it kind of simple. I just took some more of my pages out of my um, that German book that I've been using, and I glued it onto a file folder, and I just used my ruler and tore it. I thought I, you know, wanted a little torn look to these. So that's what I've done. And then these two I've put on coffee dyed paper. It's presentation paper, so it's a little bit thicker. So I thought I'll go ahead and start these with you. But that's the first thing we have. Then I've just got a tray with all kinds of lace and ribbons and things on here to use. And then I've got just some little appliques and little, you know, little whatnot pieces here that we could use some of these pieces. And then I've just put some of my um, ephemera and cards and things on uh, in this little tray keep it simple i mean we've all got tons and tons of stuff but i thought why don't i just you know get a few things out and like i said keep it as simple as we can for a change sometimes having too many choices makes it harder don't you think and sometimes we want a lot of choices. So I'm just going to rough cut this, and I'm leaving a little of the edge. Give it a little bit of a different look. And in hindsight, because I am doing that, I don't know if you can see, there's like just maybe an eighth of an inch between the book page and where I'm tearing. But like I was saying, in hindsight, since I'm doing this, I should have inked up the page edge, but that's okay. Oops. Let's go ahead and get this. Gosh, I'm just looking down. I broke a nail this morning. So low. I guess I'm going to have to trim those other nails. Oh, well, that's another story, right? Let's get this. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and trim this one up. bit more.
mixed up. Move all that. Oh. Start with these two. And then we'll move on. Okay. Move that out of the way. Move those over. It's a little room to work. All right. Um now what do we want to use? Oh, this was really pretty. This came with some happy mail from my friend Lonnie. Let's see. It's kind of nice. Oops. Sorry about that. Don't want to shake you all up. first. And of course I still haven't gotten around to sharpening my scissors. Really got to get that done. up and get it to shake down. this a little bit. Then I'll probably go back later and stitch around the sides. Mm. 
Now, you can either glue this completely down, or I could um, find something here. Or I could just glue the sides and have a double belly band like that, which I think that's what I'm going to do. Not sure if I'm going to be keeping these or putting them in my shop, but if I do, then I'll have the option of putting two pieces in the belly band, have a double belly band. Cute. Let's see. I don't know if we want to put anything on it or not. Um, kind of like just having the flower on it. And then let's see. Back in my tray here and see kind of a tag we may want. of pink tint on this card. I made the other day. Let me just do that. Oh, actually, I kind of like that. What do you think? Okay, we're going to call that one good. So, there's one. And with that, let's go ahead and do this other one. And what do we want to use? Got this. Do something like that. So many possibilities, right? Stay there. I'm probably going to definitely need to stitch this one down.
couple minutes on the machine and that'll be nice and sturdy. Okay. Well, get that a little straighter if I can. And let's trim this off. You can always even add more, but I think I'm not. Let's see, what do we want to put in here? We've got these pieces, that's way too big. I could cut it down, but I don't think I want to. Um, other tag. Put that in. Or that's not those. Let me see. Grab this. I've shown you this before. It's just one of those little photo albums. I've got a, oh, she's so pretty. Got multiples of things. Nice, huh? Maybe we'll use her in this one. Need to trim it a little bit. Looks like I left a lot of the white border. Get some of that off. I think I'll do the corners. and I think she'll be nice in this one. Okay. Yeah, that's cute. Although should have done this to begin with. I'm going to cut it down a little bit so we'll have a little more of that book page showing. Um, ink around there. And then, do we want to put anything on her? on it. I don't know. It might be too much. Oh, 
Oops, tore one of the petals. No, it didn't. Okay. Yeah, the whole thing's falling. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Let me kind of put it back together a little bit. There's that one, and I still need to trim it. Simple project, but I'm sitting here making extra steps for myself, which is okay, because at least I can get it how I want it. think I think they're cute and so this was the one I originally did and there's the other one and this one I think they'll be really cute on a journal page you could either glue it down or turn it into a tuck spot or pocket another pocket or just have it as a free floating item so that's those, but um, like I said, I just wanted to do a few things with uh, just basics, really. We just used a few different items, and that was it, and I think they turned out cute. I hope you liked this. If you did, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Happy crafting.